as we know, our world is just continuing to change along multiple different dimensions, you know, socially, politically, ecologically, and yeah. digitally, and that's just to name a few of them. Yeah. But you know what is increasingly important for science to actively provide solutions to the challenges that people face, right? Mm -hmm. At a grassroots level, not just up in the big corporates, but on the ground. Mm -hmm. Challenges such as inequality, injustice and environment, uh, environmental destruction yeah. should be infused in you know, the research mm -hmm. and, and research sort of levels that are conducted. Yeah. But how can the skills, the knowledge and opportunities within the scientific world be applied to make mm -hmm. a lasting change in society? It all sounds a little confusing, right? Yeah. Well, let's unpack that. You know what, Lauren, I'm actually very interested about the discussion that we're going to have today because usually when we speak of social justice, those are topics that really interest me. But now, mm. when you speak of social justice mixed with science and looking at how those two are whole connected, it's a whole different program. And of course, to help us unpack this conversation, we are joined by Umeste Dumsan in Temu, who is from the Department of Science and Innovation. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us today. How are you doing? I'm well, and how are you? We are doing very well, thank you. So, Mr. Tunsan, when we speak of um, social justice, and we really do speak of social justice science education now, what are we talking about? What is it? Well, I, I think what we need to bear in mind is that uh, South Africa, for example, comes from a very painful past where, where most of the people were uh, segregated, uh, they were not a part of the overall economic structure of the country. And um, that also permeated to the ed education sphere in South Africa. Even today, when you look at um, education system in South Africa, you still have schools that uh, we call Model C schools, and we still have uh, the schools that uh, come from poor background. So for me, when you talk about social justice in education, the first thing for example, is about access to education, yes. which, which, which is very, very important. Mm. Um, if there's no ac equitable access, then there's a problem. Mm. Um, you will also find that inequality in terms of um, infrastructure that is available in schools. Mm. Um, some schools have got uh, capacity and infrastructure, whereas some schools don't have uh, access to those. There's huge differences. Huge yeah. differences. So for me, those are the important things that one needs to consider. Um, obviously, some people are even hungry. Mm. How do you even go to school when you are hungry? Mm. So okay. now, if you are to compare those that come from the um, better families and those that come from poor families, obviously, it does affect their performance at yeah. school. We've also heard about, um, for example, about four years ago, the issue of uh, decolonization of uh, education mm, yes. in South Africa. So those are all the issues that I think that talks to the issue of social justice in education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things, you know, it's, it's such a complicated topic because yeah. just like you, I have this huge passion for social justice, mm -hmm. but then when somebody talks about social justice and science, you yeah. kind of go, oh, but, but how do they all sort of fit together? Mm -hmm. So what I'm curious to know is how do scientists, you know, in their relevant fields, obviously scientists work in so many different fields, how do they take their theories and their knowledge and ensure that it gets applied practically to social justice? I, I think that, um, so if you look at uh, science as a whole, um, there is um, science that is done that um, inquiry-driven science that does not necessarily yield uh, immediate results to the community. Mm. But you also have um, a research that is done um, to respond to, to the actual and pressing needs that the community face. Um, like food on the table. Like food on the table. Yeah. So there needs to be a balance between the type of research that you do to, because we are interested in a particular subject matter. Mm. But also it has to be relevant to the basic to the very things that um, affect the community mm. a, a, at the local level. But also, I think that um, it should not just end with you doing research, uh, but also, you also need to go back to the community, mm. to communicate the results, make sure that um, they understand the results, and um, uh, then they can in also internalize the, the findings of the, of the research. Because mm. if you just do research, um, 
and then it ends there, there is no feedback mechanism. Mm. It then uh, makes it uh, very difficult for the communities to even begin to appreciate mm. the value of the type of research that you would have done. Mm. You know, um, I think just from this conversation alone, I'm being, I'm becoming rather more aware of, um, you know, the social justice issues that we face in South Africa, and of course, how science can play a contributing role in alleviating them. And I think mm. do, we do need, you know, more than just the work that we do on the ground, but it's also the research true. that goes behind it, ensuring that, you know, this is how we're going to attack, or this is how we're going to ensure that, you know, we are addressing a certain um, social justice that we are currently experiencing mm. in South Africa. But of course, Dr. Mtembu, uh, Mr. Mtembu rather, is not going to go anywhere. He's going to be joining us even for the second segment to help us, you know, unpack particularly the World Science Forum that yes. is going to be speaking to us about and just to you know, understand how science can really, you know, alleviate when it comes to... How does it all connect? And how does it all connect? <laughs> because I'm thinking, I'm speaking from a layman's term and I'm like, mm. I want to understand how science connects to social justice. That's why we have the experts here. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, make sure that you don't go anywhere because as Mifali said, we're going to be chatting to you a little bit more, mm -hmm. understanding how science and social justice sort of all fits in together. And what I'm understanding you're saying is also very much about making that research accessible yeah. and understandable. So mm -hmm. make sure that you don't go anywhere, make sure that you stay tuned.